10th inter degree pass or fail taku we have the low life settlement in abroad ko hotel management hotel management at atrd college of hotel management హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ మై సెల్ఫ్ దీపిక సో ఈ వీడియోలో సో మనం యావరేజెస్ పైన కొన్ని క్వశ్చన్స్ అనేది ఈజీగా ఎలా సాల్వ్ చేయాలో ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తాను సో ఇప్పటికే మన ఛానల్లో సో చాలా బేసిక్ క్లాసెస్తో పాటు కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్స్కి యూజ్ అయ్యే విధంగా అర్థమెటిక్ రిలేటెడ్ చాలా వీడియోస్ మన ఛానల్లో ఉన్నాయి ఇప్పటి వరకు ఎవరైతే మన ఛానల్ని సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోలేదో తప్పకుండా మన ఛానల్ని సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోండి ఓకే ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ సో ఎ మ్యాన్ హ్యాస్ సమ్ పీజియన్స్ అండ్ ర్యాబిట్స్ If he counted them, there are totally 8 heads and 260 legs. How many rabbits are there? Children, the question is deals with the pigeons and the rabbits. Isn't it? He given how many total number of heads are there and the total number of legs. So based on the given data, what we have to find? We have to find how many rabbits are there. See here. I am doing this question in both methods. First, I am explaining a traditional method. After that, I will explain the shortcut method. Okay. This is the method one. That is traditional method. Okay. Traditional method. First, write down what are the uh, elements we have. One is pigeons and rabbits. For one pigeon, how many heads are there? One head. For uh, one rabbit, how many heads are there? One head. isn't it so number of heads how many he given 80 he given that is pgn plus so first i am discussing about the heads i will write down clearly so this is about the heads heads okay pgns i am representing just with p and rabbits i am representing just with r okay so pgn plus r heads so pgn plus r equal to how many heads 80 he given Next, we are coming to the legs. Heads is over. Next, legs. Next. See here, for PGN, how many legs are there? Two legs. So, two PGN, two P. For PGN, two legs are there. So, that's why I am writing two P. Plus, for rabbits, how many legs are there? Four legs. So, that's why I am writing four R. For PGN, two legs. So, that's why I have written two. For rabbit, four legs are there. So, that's why I have written four here. Equal to, how many legs total he given? 260. Sum of these two is equal to 260. What he is asking, how many rabbits are there? So, from this, we have to calculate the R value. How can we solve this question? See here. So, already you, we know, so these are come under linear equations, okay, linear equation of two variables. How can we solve this question? We want to find the R, R means we have to eliminate this P. So, how can assume this as equation 1, otherwise, so we have to remove this P. So, here 2P is there, here also you have to multiply with 2. So, what we will get? This is equal to 2 into P, 2P. Plus 2 into R, 2R equal to 8 to the how much? 16. 80 to the 160. Next, to write down the, this equation as it is. Because we are not changing this equation. We are writing this equation as it is. So, we want to remove this P. So, here 2 is there. So, that's why we are multiplying with 2. Okay. 2P plus 4 equal to 260. Just we have to do the subtraction okay 2p minus 2p gets cancelled okay next this is plus 2r this is minus 4r what is the subtraction of these two we are getting minus 2r equal to this is 160 minus 260 what is the sign here we are getting minus minus 100 so i am cancelling minus and minus and 2 ones are 250 so how many rabbits we are getting 50 rabbits Therefore, R equal to 50. Okay. 50 rabbits are there. He didn't ask about the pigeons. If he may ask, what's your answer? How many pigeons are there means? What is the question? See here. Total means 80. So, in that, rabbits are 50 means what's the remaining? Pigeons only. That is 30. Okay. He didn't ask in this question, but you should know. What is, how many number of pigeons are there means 30 pigeons and 50 rabbits are there. See here, sum of these two is nothing but 80 only. Okay. What is the shortcut method? See here. This is the shortcut method. Okay. 
So first, I am discussing about pigeons. P is nothing but pigeons and R is nothing but rabbits. For pigeon, how many legs are there? Four legs. So this is about legs. Okay. Legs. How many legs are there? Four. Two legs. And for rabbits, how many legs are? Four legs. Okay. First, we have to do the average. What is the value we have to take here? So this is the question I am solving in allegation and mixture type. Okay, see here, the total we have 260 legs. How can we find the average by 80? See here, 260 by 8. 260 by 80. That is 0, 0 gets cancelled. 2, 4, zero, and 2, 13. Zero. What is the average value we are getting? 13 by 4. Write down this 13 by 4. So, this is in fraction form. So, if you want to simplify this question very easy. So, I want to remove this fraction into normal. So, how can I? So, by multiplying all this with 4, all, all this 3 with 4. So, I can get this value as 13. That is, I am multiplying 4 here also, 4 here also. So, that 4, 4 gets cancelled. Okay. 2, 4 is a how much? 8. 2 4 is 8. What about this? 4 4 is how much? 16. Next. 4 4 gets cancelled. What is the remaining number here? Only 13. So write down 13. So what is what are the numbers we have? Here 8, 16 and 13. If you want, keep it in a bracket. Don't get confused. Okay. Keep it a circle. So what is the remaining? We have to subtract these numbers and this numbers 16 minus 13 equal to how much 3 next 13 minus 8 equal to how much 5 this is 5 so this is the ratio of see here this is the 3 is nothing but this 3 part is indicates the pigeons ratio and this 5 parts indicates the rabbits ratio what is the total we have see here what is the total we have sum of pigeons plus rabbits we have 80 it means this total is how many, uh, the, the 3 parts plus 5 parts, how much we are getting? Total 8 parts. What is the 8 parts value he given? 80, isn't it? So, what is the value of 1 part? 10. Okay. It's nothing but, see here, what is the question? Number of rabbits he is asking. Rabbits, how many parts are there? 5 parts. If 1 part is 10, Rabbits we have, this is a rabbit, rabbit we have 5 parts, that is 5 parts is 50, 5 tens are 50. So this is nothing but 50 rabbits are there and 30 pigeons are there. So in this way we have to solve this type of questions. These are all very easy. So try to solve these questions in allegation and mixture type, okay. You can solve the questions in very less number of time, okay, in fraction of seconds. Next question. In a zoo, each pigeon has two legs and each rabbit has four legs. The head count of the two species together is 12 and the leg count is 32. How many pigeons and how many rabbits are there in the zoo? See here, same question I am doing in shortcut method only. First write only pigeons and next I am taking the pigeons and next rabbits. Okay, we are discussing about the legs. Here, this line indicates the number of legs only. For pigeons, we have two legs and for rabbits, we have four legs. We have to write down the average. Average legs, we have to take how many total? 32. 32 legs is the total, but we want only average. That is 32 by total. What is meant by average? Sum of numbers by total number of numbers. The sum of numbers is 32 by total. How many animals are there? 12. That is, what is the ratio we are getting? 8 by 3. Okay. Here also it is coming under rational form. If you want to solve this question easily, you have to multiply with 3. For here also and for here also. I am multiplying with 3. Okay. 2, 3 is a how much? 6. Next, 4, 3 is a how much? 12. 3, 3 gets cancelled. What is remaining? 8 is remaining. See here. What are the numbers we have? Here is 6, 12 and 8. We have to subtract the, these numbers. 12 minus 8 equal to how much? 4. 
Next, 8 minus 6 equal to how much? 2. What is the ratio we are getting? 4 is to 2. 4 is to 2. So, this 4 is to 2. So, the ratio of agents is 4 and the ratio of rabbits is 2. So, but total k given as 12 parts. That is 4 plus 2. Total. This 12 indicates the total number. The sum of the pigeons and rabbits. So, we have to add these two. So, that 4 plus 2 equal to how much? 6. 6 parts how much we are getting? 12. So, 1 part how much? 2. Next. He is asking about the number of pigeons. Pigeons how many parts are there? Pigeons 4 parts are there. That is nothing but 8 pigeons. Next, rabbits, how many parts are there? 2 parts are there. That is nothing but 4. See here, 8 plus 4, we are getting 12. So, in this way, we have to uh, calculate this type of questions. Okay. He may ask the questions about the goats and uh, hens. So, for all this, we should know uh, what is the uh, figure of the animal. So, how many heads are one for any animal? You have to focus on the number of legs only. So, if you know the number of legs, so this type of question can be solved very easily. So, average method is the best method. So, so that you can solve the more number of questions in less time. So, if you want to learn these type of shortcuts about the arithmetic and reasoning. Uh, so, we are conducting online classes. So, if anyone has an interest, please call to this number. So, this is about the uh, average class. If you have any doubts about this class, please message me in the comment section. Thank you. Summit TV Lo, me personal and business promotions ko some kindi number ki contact chendi.